Hi everyone, it's Natalie and Connie with Thistles and Coos. www.thistles, thistles, make sure it has an S, and coos.com. Um, we're here to kind of give advice and tips and, and how to make travel simpler. So um, one of the kind of series-ish things that uh, we started focusing on was how not to be a shite tourist. Um, if you've seen our blogs, we've talked about, you know, respecting the, the land, the culture, where you are, and just be as the locals are, that sort of thing. And um, one of the, the stories that I have is um, about 10 plus years ago, I went to London and I was so excited because one of the things um, that they have every night for the past several hundred years, and I don't know if it's like six, seven, eight hundred years, but something to where it's a long time. Um, in London, at the Tower of London, they have what's called the Ceremony of the Keys. It's free, but what you have to do is um, you go online and you get your tickets, how many people are gonna be in the party, and everybody gets a, a ticket, because uh, that's your entry um, at night. So um, we're all there, we all arrive, at the ceremony or at the the Tower of London, I want to say, because it, it would it would have been around eight or nine or ten o'clock at night, something like that. And the group, I want to say, it was probably about fifty people, maybe more. I mean, there was a lot of people. So the guards, I think they're the beef eaters. Um, they unlock the the big gate, and we all come in. They tell us, you know, where to walk, where to stand, and everything. So we're all lined up on the inside, and one of the guards um, starts telling the story about how this came about. He has the original keys um, from, like I said back, it was like the 13 or 1400s, however long it was. So we're all there together, and we're all listening, and then on the far end, you just hear people giggling and laughing and shouting and stuff like that. So... The, he announced, the guard announces to everybody, I need everybody, no talking. No laughing, no talking, silence. This is the, the tradition. They have um, uh, certain things, that marches that they do. They have uh, like the, the flag. They have everything that, it was very ceremonial. And while they're trying to do this, on the end is the loud, drunk people, and there's probably about four or five of them, it wasn't a lot, shouting, laughing, they were like, you know, wrestling and stuff over there, and the guard went to them and said, no more talking, there is no talking, not one peep out of any of you, um, not only because we wanted to hear it, but it's, tr it's tradition, period, so you just follow the rules. He comes back over and he, you could see he was getting a little bit upset. And so a little bit more, they start, you know, going through this stuff. Loud, obnoxious, shite tourists start doing their thing again. Finally, he shuts down everybody. He says in all the years that he's ever done it, he says he's never had to kick out a group. In, I think we were probably the first group in probably hundreds of years that got kicked out because of these drunk guys at the end that, and everybody's telling them, shh, 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 you know, kind of thing. Like, we want to see this. We have waited months. I, I mean, I, and I still, I mean, it's been 10 years and I want to go back. And the, when we went to London in uh, 2018, I looked to see if there were tickets and they weren't because I didn't get them in, in time, that sort of thing. But, um, so he stopped everything right then and there. He was angry. And he, I mean, pretty much saying, shame on you. Not just to them, but to our entire group. We're like, we didn't do anything. But the shite tourists, because of their behavior, it affected our entire group. Instead of kicking out them, they had to kick out everybody. So they stopped the ceremony in the middle of it and kicked us all out. And we couldn't say a word when we were walking out. We were not allowed to talk until we got to the other side of the gate. 
And they, you could, I mean, the the sound of them closing the gate behind us, because they still had to finish the, the tradition, because it's what they do. Um, but to hear the big clang of this ancient door and hear it being like the the metal bar that goes down to lock it up, it, it was like symbolic of get out of here. You know, it's like, it was, it was very disappointing. Um, so if you're going to travel and one of the big things is following the rules, it is their country. You're, you're kind of, you are a guest. So if they have a, a tradition that they've been doing for 600 years, just if they say be quiet, you be quiet or everybody gets kicked out. So that's um, our big, my, well, my big thing. And I'm hoping to go back, and I will. That's my goal. Um, but if they follow the rules, don't get kicked out. Don't have everybody else pissed off at you. I'm still pissed off, and it's been t over 10 years. Anyway, um, check out our, our website. We have uh, tutorials, tips, funny stories, uh, how to's, life lessons www.thistlesandcoos.com and we'll check it out on the other side.